guys, today I will be showing you how to draw a basilisk in Harry Potter. Um, and you have to be drawing with one hand and holding with the, uh, holding the phone with the other hand. So, um, as you can see, I already started because um, the mouse just takes a while to do. Because you just go, you go two big things. I uh, do this, and you go ahead and go like a serpent, but makes this more flat. It looks better. Oh, and if you don't know what a basilisk is, it is like a giant serpent um, that Sazzler or Slytherin put in the castle. If you don't, you should either watch the movie or what I did, read the book. So, um, yeah, you're gonna, um, so you're gonna do a control this like wavy line. And you're gonna draw this eye. You can really do any design for the eye. This is like kind of design I did. I did the kind of like a triangular to that thing. And just the little color part there, which I haven't colored yet. And there's those little like veins and stuff you can see. And you're just gonna do some scales. You don't have to do them perfect. Like, look how I do them. I gotta do them like really fast. So we're just gonna be um, drawing the um, Sazzler scissor, no, not the Sazzler scissor, um, the basilisk. And um, his eyes are usually yellow, but I kinda like it. Um, it has a black pupil because usually he doesn't really have like a big pupil. Um, there might be some noises in the background, sorry about that. Because, yeah, uh, there's noise in the background. So, so let's just draw all these scales. Let's see. Drawing all the scales here. Here in the lower jaw. I have to make the scale slightly uneven. So like well, first of all the fit and stuff. And kind of looks better because the scales are like all uneven and stuff. Try to fill in a lot of gaps. I'll leave a few. I'm like inside the circle, but try to fill in all the gaps. In it. You can see you can't really see gaps. Okay, let's see, I'm just fill this all in. So you can see all the scales. I'm not gonna actually do all the frilly scales. I'm gonna do it on the head to show you. You just go like. Really fast and it's really easy. You don't even have to draw for a circle. You do like a half circle going on to another circle. It's really easy. So, um, yeah. So, just kind of when we finish these scales up and we'll get into the next part. Okay, so just on the head, I've showed you all the scales and stuff. And now what we're going to do is we are going to draw the rest of the body. So what I do is um, in the movie, well it's in the book too, but like it shows us in the movie. It kind of goes in like a question mark shape like this, coming out of water. So I'll probably just do it like that. Kind of made the body a little uneven even because I was trying to do it a little quick. But um, you try to make it a little evener. Kind of like a question mark shape, and you can draw the scales and stuff. And if you really want to get into detail, you have this tail come up through here. Um, make sure it gets thinner and stuff. And up here, it kind of goes into a skip stick shape. And you're going to do like all these needles and stuff sticking out of it. You can do it better like this or like three or something like that. So that's what is really the basic design. Um, your scales and stuff, question mark shape, and the tail has a lot of spines on it. So there you go, that is a tutorial how to draw the um, Sazzler Sisterian's Basilisk. And hope you liked it. Um, you can watch my other videos, I have a lot of Harry Potter ones. Um, so yeah, you better check those out if you want to draw some more Harry Potter stuff. We also have other topics, um, um, easier topics. The Harry Potter ones are kind of my favorite because there's a lot of cool things in it. Um, the next one I'll be uploading is the one about Rob, which is in Chamber of Secrets 2. Um, so, look out for that, and if you don't know what wrong it is, a giant spider, so, hope you like this, and, now I will, oh, I almost forgot this, I actually almost forgot to color code it, so, um, sorry about that, I kind of did an outro already, 
but I don't know why I did that. Well, yeah, it was kind of my first video, uh, one of my first videos that I uploaded. I uploaded a few, but then for some reason they don't, they fail. So you're gonna get a yellow sh highlighter. I use a sharpie, and I'm gonna go all the scales. It's kind of like that. I'm not gonna do the whole thing because it would take too long. Now we're gonna get green sharpie, not a highlighter. You can use a highlighter, and then I just go over. Um, it's actually better with the lime green one, but uh, I actually don't have one on hand. So yeah, um, it will look a little better because it is darkish green. But if you want to see the scales more on, you, I recommend using a Sharpie pen. So yeah, um, Carney already said an outro. You can cut it out and like add some details to the fangs and stuff like blood or something like that. Or you can make like a sword going through. Um, pen like this, a uh, Gryffindor sword. Right there, kind of just going like this. I should, sorry, can't do it. <laughs> so like the Gryffindor sword coming there. You can do a more detailed one, because I'm just doing it quick, because I don't want a long explained video, because it's pretty simple. Just a little sword going through when Harry Potter. You draw like the ledge here, and kind of like the water right there. And you could draw like the big statue. You know, like you can add all these details and stuff. I'm just doing it really quick. That is a really bad Dumbledore statue thingy. But yeah, you could have like Harry Potter standing here. Yeah. Um, so you pretty much get the point. So hope you like this. I already kind of already did the outro in the wrong time. So sorry about that. And oop, man, there's like a shard of glass. Cut my finger out. Sorry. And hope you liked it. Check out my other videos. And today's shout out of the week is going to go to Sorry, I tried to do a drum bowl with one hand. Subscribe to see. Make sure you check out his videos. He does a lot of gaming videos. Not really someone to mind, but he is a great YouTuber. Guys, go subscribe to him. Like his videos. Um, as much as so every video. But yeah, go check him out. He has some really cool tricks. Um, and, um, and adventures and stuff. I don't know if you really call it adventure because I don't really do Minecraft Let's Plays and stuff. So yeah, hope you like this video and I will see you later. Goodbye.